entering its 46th year, Dr. Wilkinson's Hot Springs is a wine country landmark. It's one of Calistoga's oldest spas and the only facility that operates under the original family ownership today. The story of Dr. Wilkinson's is one of hard work, a belief in the natural healing arts, and solid family values. It is the year 1946. Dr. John Wilkinson, a young chiropractor, visits Calistoga and is immediately fascinated by the natural hot springs and volcanic ash mud. I finally circumstances brought me to Calistoga. Once I got here, I said, this is it. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. And I've never changed. In the fall of 1946, he leases the old Pachateau's Hot Springs, which he operates until October of 1951. While at Pachateau's, Dr. Wilkinson, known affectionately as Doc to his friends, meets Edie, a San Francisco native, and they are married in 1950. On July 8, 1952, Doc and Edie realize a long-term dream and open the doors of Dr. Wilkinson's Hot Springs, a brand new spa on the scene in Calistoga. John was in, in the spa, as he had, he was leasing Pachitos at the time, and I believe we decided after several months that maybe it would be better if we'd strike out on our own and find a place for ourselves rather than be leasing. And the, that wasn't very many months after if we were married that we decided that. <laughs> to, to start all that, uh, by in combining both our resources, uh, all we could afford to uh, put up was uh, the spa, original spa building, the hot springs building itself. No, no motel, no pools, just the hot springs building. On our opening days, we were naturally very concerned, being the fact that we're just starting into a new business where others had been established here and we had to establish ourselves. So it left us with, on our opening day with a lot of thoughts, where do we go? Uh, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind uh, that uh, I was going to be in the hot springs business and I was going to make a success, that we were going to make a success out of it. Once the doors opened, Doc went to work building his name and reputation featuring quality spa treatments and chiropractic services to his clients. At that time there were three other spas in town and all three had lodgings along with their bathhouses. Doc and Edie, however, had to be content with just having a spa, as they were short of funds to build lodging units. On the opening day, I believe we charged uh, $3.50 for the works. That was the massage and the mud bath and the steam. That was at that, steam, that was, the blanket right. wraps, everything. <laughs> so we always had in mind that uh, we would uh, not stop just with the baths there and it took us quite a while, it took us about 10 years before we even got even part of our motel put up. For, so for the first 10 years we had just the bathhouse uh, alone. When we first, uh, well when, even, even over at Pachitos and when we opened here, uh, Calistoga was basically a summer resort and uh, there was very little business in the winter time and it was, uh, the pickings were pretty slim uh, all during the uh, winter. That's why uh, I needed to be in the chiropractic business um, as well to uh, make things go. They used to close off right after Labor Day actually, it was when things were just, just as though you were turning off the water faucet, that was it. So, trend towards alternative health care has helped our business quite a great deal in the last 10 to 15 years. Instead of getting just older people with their aches and pains and rheumatic uh, types of conditions for the mud baths, why we're getting the younger people for the preventive, uh, preventive and maintenance type of thing and that has made quite a difference in our uh, business and the business of Cal the total of Calistoga, see, as far as that's concerned. 
You would think that building a successful spa operation and maintaining an active chiropractic practice would be plenty to keep anyone busy. Not Doc and Edie. They believed in giving back to their community and in promoting tourism for the good of the industry. Doc served for eight years on the Calistoga City Council and from 1966 to 1968 served as mayor of Calistoga. Edie in turn served four years on the City Council in the late 70s and became the first Lady Mayor Pro Tem and Police Commissioner. In 1988, Doc and Edie opened the salon at Dr. Wilkinson's and this facial and skin care salon quickly gained the reputation of being one of the finest in Northern California. Its line of quality skin care products has become extremely popular with salon guests. Today, the spa gives up to 140 treatments a day and in their 45 years of operation, Doc and Edie have served over one million guests at their resort. Along the way, Dr. Wilkinson's has gained a national reputation and has been featured on all major television networks and in many major publications. Three days of drinking the finest wines and eating the best of food in California's wine districts and there's only one solution at the very end, a visit to a very good doctor. His name is Dr. John Wilkinson, but the friends, family, even his car dealer, he's known as the Mud King. Bonnie Strauss is in Northern California today in the Napa Valley, famous for its beautiful vineyards and fine wines, but is she sipping the juice of the grape? No, 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 no. She has found herself up to her ears in mud, literally, watch. Dr. Wilkinson is a chiropractor, but he's known by some as the king of mud. He owns one of the mud bathhouses in Calistoga, and at 69, he's been playing with mud for four decades. I mean, it's really it's, dense. It's really mud. It really smells so funny. That's the, that's the ash and the uh, combination of the ash and the uh, mineral water. There are separate facilities for men and women, but since I needed a little coaxing, Dr. Wilkinson bent the rules to join me. so bad and it looks so strange but it feels good. The idea is that um, it's a better way to transfer heat into the body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think I finally found something that makes me just as nervous as peas. Here in the city of Calistoga is Scott Deveni taking a bath in mud. many towns that take pride in their mud. But that warm, wet, squishy stuff is what brings people to Calistoga, and they've been coming here to soak for over a hundred years. Dr. John Wilkinson is a man who knows his mud. He's operated a mud bath in Calistoga since the mid-40s. And to hear him tell it, mud is the best cure for muscular pain, arthritis, and bad cases of big city blues. Oh, and there's another good thing about vacationing in Calistoga. <clears throat> you know you can drink the water. Dr. Wilkinson's is also known internationally and has been featured on television in six countries, including this segment for a Japanese television program. Happily for Doc and Edie, another generation of Wilkinsons opted to come into the family business. The first time I remember working at the spa, I was between 10 and 11 years old and my folks had just finished building their first hotel section and I was the laundry room girl. I also remember uh, basically renting a room at about 10 or 11 years old, something like that. I think it was instilled in us both at a very young age that a customer was something you did not take for granted. You took good care of the customer as best as you possibly could. A request, there were few impossible requests, and all customers were basically to be dealt with with absolute courtesy and professionalism. I think that was very much instilled uh, in both of us uh, at all times. On a personal level, I think it's, it's very important to carry on the traditions that my mom and dad um, have started. Um, our name is on our sign. It's important to remember that every day. I think we hope to slowly but surely continue to grow. We've been expanding as the years have gone along and basically continuing that uh, cautious, conscious expansion I think is a very important aspect of my role in, uh, in Dr. Wilkinson's. And again, learning to continue to work not only 
with the staff that we have, but again instilling that in my niece and nephew and hoping to continue on with our traditions. And both of our kids work here at the business. Uh, Bettina started when she was about 13 years old as a desk clerk. Um, got real curious what goes on there, etc., etc. Wanted to earn a few dollars for a few fancy clothes and um, began working there and now has become a, a full a full-time mainstay at the front desk has worked the summers and in fact uh, the uh, guest um, the guest services manager looks forward to her coming back every year and providing a nice stable anchor uh, our son Christopher just began um, over the last Christmas break with his induction into uh, the wonderful world of mud as a men's spa attendant did a good job too actually. yeah and he was he was very pleased with himself hi Chris Although Doc has retired from his chiropractic practice, he still comes in to fill in at the spa, sometimes just greeting and talking to the many friends and clients who have come to know him over the years. Looking healthy and fit, with a glint in his eye and a friendly smile, Doc practices what he preaches, good health habits coupled with exercise. Doc and Edie's hard work has brought success to their business and health and relaxation to three generations of satisfied clients.